so this is the project that I'll be working on today. I've always wanted to do it, and even though some thinks it's quite hideous, I've done it. So I'm going to show you my mixing process. Um, picked one color, uh, the last one listed there, the brown red. I was kind of surprised uh, when I put the uh, paint in from the tube into the cup. It looked very metallic-like. Uh, doesn't matter. I, I wanted that type of color anyway, so that's what I went with. So the mix is one part uh, paint and one part uh, Floetrol. Uh, Floetrol is used in, uh, in painting. It helps the, f the paint flow. Uh, painters will use it uh, to help spread the paint. It dries clear so it doesn't really do anything to the actual uh, color itself. So, sped up many times. We get the color going. Uh, make sure you get all the lumps out. And then uh, thin it with uh, water. I want it to flow something like heavy cream. Pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, so there's the bare block. I've added silicone to the uh, the paint. The idea of silicone will help create some of the cells. Uh, of course, I, I have a limited board here so I won't have a lot of action going. But the process now is to layer the paints. Try to keep them in the center. I'm going to be quiet for a while and let you just watch. noticed that the uh, paint was slipping to one side so I'll put a shim underneath. Uh, the blocks that I'm pouring on are, are leftover wood blocks. Um, I glued them down so they're not coming up. Um, I like how you know they change the flow of the paint. I want to point out how you know, look at all the white that there is. I know some of this is just gonna flow off but uh, the white is a denser paint, and so it tends to sink to the bottom when you, you layer it out. Now I'm just touching up the sides of the block. Notice that the corners didn't quite uh, get all the paint that I was hoping. Like I said, it's an experimental piece. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, those that I love and respect have told me that, in fact, they thought it was hideous. And this is the process. You take it, you tilt it, you get it to all, all sides, and then ta-da. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing there. Using the heat gun. See if I can rise get some cells to pop. I got a few. Anyway, that's it. I want to thank you for uh, watching. And uh, I'm going to put this one in the can and say it's done. <laughs>